Why can't you receive your healer? For those that are wondering, why can I not receive my healing? I realize that there has been a lot of voices around, particularly because we call ourselves an hospital and people would want to wonder, why is it that I'm not being healed? And persons will go away and never came back because they came once or twice because they never received their healing, they come to the conclusion that we don't have the power or whatever they want to say or maybe they thinking that, well, God is not a healer, he doesn't heal or all that. And there's so many things, so many questions, even among us as Christian, as member, we wonder what is going on? Why? We seems to be a church and there's not much healing going on. Why? And so I wanted to establish before I go further that we must understand that God is not a good luck theory that wave magic one around and everybody that needs healing, regardless of what you think you should receive healing. There's a misconception in Christian that believe that well, you know, healing must automatically flow, irregardless. Am I right? Amen. Oh gosh, it's a quiet church tonight. Today is a very quiet church. And I believe that some people think that healing is like a um, food stamp. You know how back home we give out food stamp, or people just come to some of these community and believe that I am entitled and everything belongs to me. It is mine. I must receive it. And so we also believe that uh, anyone that is carrying a little power or claim that they are carrying a little power should automatically be able to disperse or dispense some form of healing irregardless of uh, whosoever needed. It. it should be able to be dispensed because we are saying that we carry power. Now, let's establish that God is sovereign. He is a sovereign God, and he can do everything and anything that he chooses to do. Amen. There's no limitation with his healing power. It is, it, is, it, is, it is effective, and God is still in the healing business. He's more than capable of healing any kind of sicknesses, any kind of diseases, even beyond what medicine and science can offer. God is able because he's sovereign enough to, to heal whoever he chose. But he doesn't work on our agenda. Let's understand. God does not work on our agenda to please your belief. He doesn't set up his standard based on your opinion. He doesn't set up his standard for healing based on you, but he set up his standard in his word how healing should be regardless of your opinion. Yeah. Amen. We also know that God has established his healing through Jesus Christ. He died and um, over 2,000 years ago and because he died he provide healing for mankind. The word of God says, by his stripes we were healed, meaning that we are already healed, it's done. Am I right? Amen. It is done, it was done, healing was done. And so if it was done, then my question to you then is that, if healing was done and it's already established, why is it that you are not walking in it? And why is it that anyone has to even pray for anyone because the fact that it was done already, shouldn't it automatically just come to everybody if it was done? Amen. Amen. So we have some questions. Uh, and so we believe that, okay, you know what, we should just go to the church and here it must be there waiting for me. And yet it was already done. So why then do we have to even disperse it? Should it automatically come to you? And that's a very question. And so there are many reasons why we are not walking in the healing that's already done. And I'm, I don't have the time to, today to, 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 to go over all the reasons that we need to understand why we don't receive healing because of time. So today is an introduction. 
And so for those that are questioning, why are we not healed? You know, just an introduction, synopsis today, because I'm going to continue this message. God harder or his order, it still stands. God harder still stands. And let it be known that spiritual hospital, spiritual hospital who specializes in healing and deliverance, spiritual hospital who specializes in beyond what medicine and science can offer, cannot override God's order. Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's just been established in the atmosphere. Amen. And we already talked yeah. about that. Even through when we talked about the, 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 you know, the alignment for blessing. Blessing is a part of also healing. And spiritual hospital, even though we do believe in um, beyond what medicines and medicine and science can offer, God order cannot change because we have something unique. Understand that. And understand that as it is in the spiritual, so it is in the natural. Except in the spiritual, it is more and a supernatural means. It's more at a higher level. It is more powerful. It's 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 more. Um, what, what the words I'm thinking? You know what I'm thinking. You can't follow me, right? So it is more um, at, a, at a, a more higher level in the supernatural realm rather than in the natural but as it is in the natural so it is in the supernatural in the natural um we have in the even in the medical system we have the head surgeon we have the the head doctor we have the ceo of of of, of medical uh, association etc and healing will take place in most instant instances but even in that in those um, institution, there are orders and directives that we have to follow. Yeah. We deal with the natural. In the natural, we have a lot of the sicknesses. Are you following me, church? I'm going somewhere. Amen. A lot of the sicknesses that we go through, and the diseases that we go through, um, a lot of those sicknesses. Although they are a spiritual new cause, we're going to talk about maybe um, as we go along with this series. But in the natural, we have infection, we have pain, we have fracture, we have tumor, we have hurt, damage, and some caused by bacteria. So it is in the spiritual, you have the same. And most root cause of many sicknesses, it is spiritual. Most whose cause is a spiritual, and when I said spiritual, it also is a spiritual bacteria. Oh Lord, as it is in the spiritual, so it is in the natural. Most of the sicknesses, they are spiritual bacteria. And so persons will believe that at the first shot of coming to, at the first visit then, at the first time they are prayed for, they should receive their healing the first time. Because it is a Christian, it's a supernatural place. So it should be automatically, it's a supernatural place. And so, but you don't understand that as it is in the natural, so it is in the spiritual, there are things that have to be dealt with sometimes before you receive your healing. Amen. See, in the natural, the doctors, we go to the doctors. Do we receive our healing on the first visit to the doctor? <laughs> but yet, we want to come to the church and receive our healing on the very first shot. Amen. My gosh. Amen. Yes, because we are supernatural being. Yes, so we should, it should be. And God provided, right? I'm, I'm getting somewhere. And we have no problem follow the doctor's directives. Absolutely no problem. If the doctor says that we must use this prescription, we don't have no problem. Yes, doctor. Not understanding that those 
prescription is to lead you down the hill to another situation, Amen. another side effect. Amen. Because this medication is not to cure you, but it is to give you another situation. And you'll never stop going to the doctor, but you will say, yes, doc, I will get my prescription and I will do it. Whatever it takes, I will ensure that I follow the doctor directive and I will go take my ultrasound and put the, the radar in my body and whatever it takes, you will take all the risk. And some of you will pay all the money. It doesn't matter how much money. You are going to pay it because you need to be well. Am I right? It doesn't matter how far you have to go. Whether you take your time at work and spend money and sacrifice your time, you are going to go. Especially, particularly if the doctor tell you that you have a tumor. Amen. Everything jumps and I am going to follow. If it takes me uh, 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 um, 10 months, I am going to go to the appointments and I'm going to go to the specialist. I'm going to follow up. But yet, people expect to come to a spiritual hospital and one shot and they get their deliverance. Amen. <laughs> I am getting somewhere. God gave me some revelation. God, I thank you, Lord. And we will follow the doctor directive. And the doctor says, you're going you're gonna to cut out this lifestyle. Because if you don't cut out this lifestyle, you are going to die. Don't we cut it out or try our best to cut it out? Sometimes it's hard, but we try our best. If the doctor said, well, you're going to give up this, give up that. Don't you give it up? If, 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 if um, sugar is what's killing you, if fat is what's killing you, aren't you going to give it up? Yes. Yes. We obey the doctor and the natural, but we don't want to be, obey the spiritual doctor. How I many of you know that Pastor Debbie is a spiritual doctor? Amen. Yes, you something today. Yes. And the pastor is the leader. We are spiritual doctors. Yes. As it is in the natural, so it is in the spiritual. And so we will follow anything, all the directives, and we put our trust in the doctors. But if God says, this is what you need to do, if somebody comes to the clinic and Minister Carol or myself and we give them a direction or a directive, oh no, give me the healing. All I want is my healing. But I'm not following your direction. I'm not taking your medication. I'm not taking the prescription that you need for your cure. You're, I'm not taking it. We have prescription in our clinic. How I many of you know that? But nobody wants to take it. No, we need to do some magic one and wave it and automatically we are here. You are here. And, 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 and the audacity for some people. I have calls calling me day and night. Pastor Deborah, do you do home visit? I'm sick. I'm dying. Don't be killing me. And all things happening to me. Can you come to my house? No, my dear, we don't do that. Can you come to 11?